I think I found a pretty smart solution to do a quick release on a Pelican case or something that looks like a Pelican case. What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about my sort of DIY quick release solution for a Pelican case or in this case it's a lookalike Pelican case. Similar quality, little cheaper. Um, I get into the reasons why I got this one and how I actually got this to work as a quick release solution. Now, first off, why a Pelican case as a replacement for a top case? Now, I've been using a pannier topper from Enduro Stan. It's basically soft luggage and it was initially designed to sit on top of a hard case, you know, as a pannier topper. I have two different sizes. There was a large size and that was big enough to fit my drone equipment and some additional accessories that I used for the drone, especially the Skydio. I needed something big enough that the Skydio case, you know, the self-flying drone, that it would actually fit in there. So that was the reason why I had something on the back. Also, I wanted to reduce the size of the uh, tank bag. Now I have, I have a bigger one right now because I'm on an on-road tour, but for off-road, touring i have a very small tank bag that doesn't get in the way when i'm maneuvering with the bike so for all those reasons i needed something or more of my stuff to go to the rear end of the bike so i used the uh, pannier topper for quite some time and why i liked about it is it's relatively quick access there's zippers on there so you can zipper it open get to the drone really quick especially the self-flying drone and get it out get it started and keep going so it would take so much time to use it now the problem of course with the zipper is that the zipper gets dirty in an off-road track and I think I kind of messed it up. It, got, it was so dirty and I was trying to open and close it so I think I messed up the zippers a little bit. So it's not really a solution that uh, lasted too long for me. So I was looking for an alternative. Now there are plenty of top cases out on the market. Most of them are just too big and bulky. I still don't like the look of a top case but of course there's a certain convenience to it having something on your rear rack where you can store stuff even if it's not camera equipment. Now I've seen a lot of people use Pelican cases or knockoffs of Pelican cases and they use that also for the camera gear. So if you have sort of a larger camera that you bring along and the other camera gear, it's quite good. Why? Because these Pelican cases are made to be waterproof. They're made out of plastic, but it's you know pretty sturdy stuff and it's waterproof. So that makes it a good solution. Now, top cases, there are plenty of manufacturers that make them. They make them really big. There's a few manufacturers that make something a bit smaller, about half size of a typical top case that you would see on uh, a typical adventure bike. I think GV is one of them that made it. So I looked at that for a little while, but there was a handle missing just to, you know, to take it off. And so I didn't really like the, that setup. So I was back to the idea of using a Pelican case and mount it on the rear rack. Now, what you find most of the time if you look on YouTube is that people just take the top case, throw a couple holes in it, and they screw it to the rear rack and then mount the rear rack on the bike. So the problem with that is, of course, you can't take it off. So either you have an inner bag or something that you can take your equipment with you. But I wanted the case to be taken off the bike so if I'm uh, leaving the bike somewhere and I want to take my drones inside the hotel or whatever, I wanted it to come off quick. Now there are a few that show quick release solutions and everything I've seen so far is stuff from DIY solutions of a quick release that so people sort of manufacture their own parts. There are a few manufacturers I saw that had quick release solutions specifically designed for Pelican cases. They're quite expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive. It's probably because they only make so many of them. What I haven't seen yet is what I'm going to show you now, and it's actually a really simple way of uh, working around the whole quick release solution. Now, I looked at what was already on the market and quick release solutions, and usually it's quite difficult to get something from a large manufacturer, SW Motec or Touratech or GV or uh, you name them, that actually works where you can get the parts and you can use their quick release setup. Well, then I found something that actually does work, and that's from SW Motec again. Um, they make pretty good quick release solutions, and they have a system for side bags. It's called a SIS bag, and these side bags can also be mounted on the rear rack. And so the same mounting solution works on for the side and for the rear rack. So when I saw that, it's like maybe this is the way to go, and it was. 
So they have different sizes. They have different sizes of SysBank. The smaller ones have sort of three-point connection and the larger ones use sort of the four-point connections on the QuickBlink system. And you can buy the parts separately. So you can buy the uh, connection points for the rear rack. You need a rear rack that's compatible with these. So I have one from Peron Moto that I had already. And I used that with the Endure Stand Pioneer Topper because it had a bit more area and it had the connection points to mount it properly. So I had that already and I know Piramoto makes, you know, a lot of pre-drilled holes for some of the most common manufacturers, GB and SW Motec included. So I had that and then I just needed the mounting plate and the mounting plate is also something you can get separate. And I got the Sysbeck mounting plate, I think the Sysbeck 30, I put that um, in the description here somewhere. That's the larger one. So it's basically a back plate. And it's got the quick release mechanism that is normally geared towards their own sort of side panniers, like the soft luggage panniers that they have. So you can take that and you can mount it on the underside of the Pelican case. Now I wanted something small, I just wanted to be big enough to be about the same size as the Endurostan pannier topper. And that means, I think, I don't know, I have to put the volume, it's maybe 16 to 20 liters of volume. So I want it to be relatively low profile and small. So if I run it without all the luggage on it, it doesn't look super goofy and I don't need that much space anyway. So I tried to find the smallest Pelican case, or in this case, it was actually a knockoff. Um, it's not a cheap knockoff, actually. It was uh, quite good quality that I got. So it was exactly what I was looking for. It had a handle. And I picked the smallest size where I could still mount the Sys bag 30 plate onto it. And I tried that out and I'm in Norway at the moment. So I've been riding for over 4,000 kilometers with the setup and it works really, really great. The quick release uh, works perfectly. It also was fine in really dusty conditions. I was riding the Ted Trek in Finland. About a thousand kilometers of that was just really dusty gravel road. So, so far I didn't have any problem with that extra dirt and I would think it shouldn't because it's made for an adventure bike so that the quick release mechanism still works. Mounting it was also uh, quite easy, it's just you drill a, a bunch of holes and put the screws through, it's really straightforward. I'll leave the exact uh, equipment that I've used, I, I try to put that into the description so if you're looking into something like that then you have an idea what to go by. So anything smaller, smaller case would require you to use a smaller mounting plate which SW Motec also has. Anything bigger would probably work much much easier. The thing I like about this setup is actually it has snap buckles. Um, you know, like a typical Pelican case, two of them. It's really easy to get to, and of course, it's quite dirt resistant. So, even if it gets really, really dirty, it's quite easy to open and close it and access the equipment. That was the whole point. Plus, it has a nice handle, so if I can take it off, it's easy for me to carry it uh, into my hotel or something. Now, in order to pad the equipment that's in there, I'm just using little sort of cable organizer things that I've got off Amazon. They're relatively cheap. I think they were like 10 euros a piece or something. I had these cable organizers before that, so I can put my DJI drone into that and also some accessories so it doesn't bounce around in there. You can put sort of different organizer systems in there. Of course, you can get the typical styrofoam padding in there if, if that's what you want. So you're pretty flexible with the inside of it. I've taken it through uh, some rain rides, not really extended rain rides, but so far the interior stayed dry, which was cool. And what I really like is the quick access and the ability to, you know, close it up quickly and tightly. Now there are options to put a lock on this case. Um, it's just a padlock, a small padlock. So if you're in my case uh, on a ferry, for example, and you want to protect the uh, all your uh, camera gear that's in there, you can have two locks on each side, a typical padlock to at least lock the actual lid of the case. Of course, that leaves the option open what you do with the extra quick release. You know, someone could just take the whole thing off and take their dear time to open the case up. So I had something that was like a, a sort of zip tie lock that I got, and that did not really work at all because I was riding the first few kilometers with it and there was dust getting in it and I couldn't open it. It had like a combination lock in it and I had to cut it open eventually because I couldn't get to it. So I haven't found a proper solution yet on how to actually lock the sort of Pelican case to the rear rack. But the case itself works and most of the time I don't have it locked. Uh, the entire trip I didn't have it locked. So 
I haven't seen any of that before on YouTube or in my research, so hopefully this comes at the right time if you're thinking about doing something similar. And if you have found this useful, give me a like. If you have comments or other recommendations, please put them in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, ride safe, stay awesome.